we also will not hesitate to warn that's right to warn of the great danger posed by the strange and mysterious so-called hadith which prophesies a ghazwatul hind <laughs> that would seek to provoke another bogus jihad against Hindu India in a futile effort to restore the previous sorry Mughal imperial rule over Hindu India. If Hindus and Orthodox Christians with bitter memories in their heart of Islamic oppression and imperialism now hate Islam and hate Muslims there is much that explains and justifies that hatred the only proper way to address that hatred and to seek to remove it is with a scholarship derived from the blessed Quran that is characterized by stern scholarly integrity when we study India's present alliance with Israel we find many significant things which they have in common with each other and I want to suggest that it is through an analysis of those commonalities that we get a means with which we can discern whether the religious conduct and policies of the present Hindu government in India pose a threat to regional peace and security we turn now to the cow Surat al Bakara, Hinduism and Judaism. When we commence, when we commence, we recognize that it is a matter of supreme significance that Allah Most High chose to commence the Quran, which is the last scripture to be revealed to mankind, to commence it with a chapter or a surah entitled The Cow Al-Waqarah The strategic alliance between Judaism in Israel and Hinduism in India appears to have its origin in the first chapter of history which witnessed a misguided Israeli worship of a golden cow and it is with Hindu reverence of the cow as a sacred animal, sometimes even worship, and the continuing Jewish attachment to the cow, characterized by the belief in the appearance of a red cow in the end time, that we can commence any effort to determine, listen carefully, to determine whether Hinduism and Judaism have common origins. If they both have common origins, and if they have both suffered the same corrup corruption of original truth in, for example, the common exceptionalism, as disclosed later in this address, we can expect them to march together in the end time.